Hello and welcome to another edition of another book review. This week I'll be reviewing The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. Talk very briefly about the author, go into a spoiler-free overview of the plot, talk about what I liked about the book, what I didn't like about the book, who I'd recommend the book to, and finish off with what I will be reading for next time. Mark Haddon is a fairly prolific writer. He's been writing, I believe, since the mid to late 80s. Uh, he's written children's books, a collection of poetry, uh, novels for adults, uh, I believe a stage play as well, but is most famous for this work, uh, which came out, I believe, in 2003, um, which has been actually uh, adapted into a stage play, uh, and it is about a 15-year-old boy who lives in a small town in England who, though I don't think it's ever stated in the novel, is essentially a high-functioning, uh, has high-functioning autism, and the story is uh, about his uh, search for... Uh, the titular or a curious incident uh, searching to solve a mystery involving uh, a murdered dog, which is the titular or curious incident of the dog in the nighttime. It's also a play on the Sherlock Holmes novel, um, The Hounds of the Baskervilles. I think it's The Hound of the Baskervilles. Um, but it's about this boy who lives with his father uh, and is uh, goes to a school. Uh, with other uh, children with social and behavioral problems. Um, and it's really, the, the book is kind of set up as his recollection of this kind of fairly brief period in his life um, where he's trying to uh, solve this mystery as well as write a book about this mystery he's trying to solve for one of his teachers. And uh, the book is really more about his life during this time than anything else. So... I really, it's a very, very unique book. Uh, it's told from his perspective, and Mark does all kinds of little things to really immerse you into the character. The book being, instead of being numbered like a typical chapter novel, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, the, the chapters are numbered in prime numbers because the character is a savant when it comes to mathematics. And so throughout the book, you see him doing math problems to calm himself as he gets social anxiety and finds himself in tense situations. Uh, and he also does uh, this uh, as a way to kind of organize his thoughts. So you see the, the chapters being numbered uh, as prime numbers instead of the one, two, three, four, five, six. He also has little illustrations throughout the book uh, to give you the character's perspective on things. Um, I really enjoyed that aspect of it. The, he does a very good job of um, giving you enough plot to keep you interested in, in the novel, but also giving you kind of a, through the eyes of this character, his familial background as well as the background of his neighborhood, uh, the background of the school. So I enjoyed all those things. I think um, the book, if you, the things that I maybe liked a little bit less, I think it took me a little bit of time to get into it. Um, there's maybe one too many digressions that he has about kind of his philosophy for, for as stuff. Uh, but overall, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I thought it was a really unique take on a character that I had not seen before. Uh, and the story, while kind of being uh, in a scope of things relatively small, uh, I found it to be very charming. I think for people who may not enjoy it, or it's not, I know the book has kind of posed itself as a mystery, and it really becomes less of a mystery as it goes along. It is a mystery in the beginning, and that takes you uh, to a certain point in the book, and then the rest of the book is really kind of resolving a conflict that has kind of been brewing underneath the notice of the character um, uh, dealing with, with other things in his life. Uh, if you're someone who likes really descriptive prose, you may be turned off by this because it's very, it's, the book is written from his perspective and he has a very matter of fact way of seeing the world and he has very few adjectives when describing anything. Um, and you may have a hard time really relating to the character. Uh, some people may and that may turn people off. Um, but overall, I found it very charming. I think it's been uh, hailed as one of the best novels of the 21st century. And I think for me, because of the perspective of the character, I found it very charming uh, and very different, but also very endearing. Um, so that is The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. Again, it's really more of a character study than anything else. 
uh, as you learn about this this character and his family and their background. Um, very English too, so I guess if you're someone who is not much of an Anglophile, you may be kind of turned off by some things. Uh, but overall, I enjoyed it. I think it did. It has a very realistic character in some ways, um, and I think the tr the character is treated as a quote unquote a real person, uh, flaws and all. And so I, I enjoyed that. Um, but if you're someone who doesn't really like character studies as much, you may not enjoy this. There's not really a ton of plot that comes with it and if you're looking someone who's looking for you know a plot heavy novel this may be the one one to skip but otherwise uh, I found it uh, very enjoyable so until next time where I'll be reading the wisdom of crowds um, please feel free to uh, like the video subscribe to the channel uh, I'll leave my Twitter information below until next time bye